Hundreds of people have been forced to flee the Greek island of Santorini following a swarm of terrifying earthquakes. Tremors as strong as magnitude 5 have raised concerns the volcano that forms Santorini's steep, picturesque cliffs could erupt. The risk is high enough that Greek authorities convened an emergency meeting with the Permanent Scientific Monitoring Committee to discuss the possibility of an eruption. The precautionary measures that have been taken on Santorini are all to reduce the risk in case the earthquakes which are shaking the island led to landsliding or building damage. But residents can't relax just yet, as scientists have warned that an earthquake could still send a tsunami their way. Santorini is a volcanic island on the Hellenic Volcano Arc, an area of intense seismic activity. The island's cliffs were formed by a massive eruption 3,500 years ago. However, experts say this recent seismic activity is not a prelude to an eruption. The tremors are being caused by the movement of nearby tectonic plates, not by the buildup of magma. The authorities' primary concern is the potentially deadly effects of a larger earthquake. But there are also worries that these tremors could be a sign of an impending volcanic eruption. Santorini sits on a geological feature called the Hellenic Volcanic Arc a series of volcanoes which formed around 2.5 million years ago due to shifting tectonic plates. Dr. Dimitris Sakelariou, an expert on marine geology from the Hellenic Center for Marine Research, told news outlets, There are two main volcanic centers in the area, the first one below the caldera of Santorini, the second one, the Colombo submarine volcano at roughly seven kilometers northeast of Santorini. The Santorini volcano last erupted in 1950, producing a small amount of lava and sending ash clouds several hundred meters into the sky. However, geologists believe a vastly more powerful eruption occurred around 1620 BC, which destroyed a large part of the island, blanketed the region with ash, and is even believed to have contributed to the downfall of the mighty Minoan civilization. Thankfully, experts agree that the current seismic activity is not related to either of the region's volcanoes. Dr. Sacalario says, the seismic activity evolves separately from the volcanic activity. The current seismic activity does not coincide with the locations of the volcanic centers. Instead, the tremors have been mapped to an exceptionally seismically active region of the Aegean Sea, where there are many tectonic faults. At this location, the tectonic plate of the Aegean Sea moves southwards, pushing itself beneath the African tectonic plate. As the plates rub against each other, the friction builds up vast amounts of pressure, which must occasionally be released as earthquakes. Even if the tremors were related to volcanic activity, this is unlikely to pose a significant threat to the island. There's no sign of any change in the volcanic system of Santorini at the moment, and the chance of a volcanic eruption is very small. The seismic activity in 2011 to 12 didn't lead to an eruption, and over the past 300 years, all of the eruptions from the Kameni Island volcano on Santorini have involved small eruptions of lava or small ash explosions that posed no immediate threat to the main island of Thera. The bigger concern is that the earthquake swarms may continue to escalate. Santorini is at the center of a mystery. 
Why do earthquakes keep shaking the island? The Greek island has a long history of earthquakes, but what is causing the recent series of quakes has scientists perplexed. Greece's Aegean islands are typically associated with relaxing vibes and tranquil scenery. But some of them, including Amorgos, Anafi, and Santorini, are currently besieged by a seemingly never-ending swarm of intense earthquakes. Over the last few days, residents have been startled by temblers as high as magnitude 5.3. More than two-thirds of those living on Santorini have voluntarily chosen to leave the island, and authorities have ordered the closure of schools and dissuaded large indoor gatherings. People have been told to stay away from the coast and any of the island's steep slopes. A state of emergency has been declared, but the Prime Minister of Greece, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, has urged calm. In a recent crisis meeting, he said, the government has trust in science, but noted that scientists are dealing with an extremely perplexing phenomenon. The drumbeat-like cacophony of unusually potent quakes, overlaid atop the region's Baroque, messy geologic jigsaw has researchers foxed. Although Santorini is itself a partially submerged and still active volcanic island, the current consensus is that the cause of these quakes is anything but volcanic. Their source seems to be related to a strange, difficult to forecast tectonic process, one that could quickly wind down or dangerously escalate. The situation is constantly evolving, and things could either get worse or, hopefully, improve. For now, there's no reason for panic. But there is, for sure, reason for concern. The Aegean Sea is no stranger to earthquakes and eruptions. To the south and west of Greece is the deep-water Hellenic Trench. There, an ancient piece of dense oceanic crust is being swallowed by the underlying mantle. This descent isn't calm, but chaotic, and the ongoing stress on the crust above is pulling Greece apart in multiple directions. That tectonic pandemonium has led to the formation of spiderweb-like fault zones and myriad volcanoes, both below and above water. Scientists, aware of these hazards, keep a close eye on it all. Santorini, a giant magmatic cauldron with two small volcanic isles nested in its submerged center, has a dark and dangerous volcanic history stretching back 650,000 years. It features a massive blast in 1560 BC that helped end a civilization, a significant explosion in AD 726, and even a modest outburst in 1950. It's still an active volcanic system, and it's not alone. A nearby submarine volcano called Colombo also exploded in 1650, creating a series of tall tsunamis and a lethal cloud of toxic gases. The current seismic tempest, which only recently made headlines, has been going on for some time now. It started toward the end of last year. There started to be slightly more seismicity, but nobody really noticed. At the end of January, there was a profound uptick in the power and frequency of these quakes. There have been almost a thousand per day over the last few days. It must be an awful thing to experience. Why the current quakes are odd? The earthquakes are not just happening in one place. The unrest started within Santorini itself, but the seismic focus quickly shifted offshore. This atypical seismic pattern is known as an earthquake swarm. They happen in various places around the world, but each is idiosyncratic. For example, swarms in Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula are associated with the migration of magma, and several have terminated in dramatic eruptions. But swarms beneath America's Yellowstone National Park have not culminated in any modern volcanic activity. Compared to classic quakes, swarms don't play by the rules, says Hubbard. And that makes forecasting their futures difficult. What's causing these earthquakes? To speculate on what may happen in the coming days and weeks 
we first need to answer a key question. Are these earthquakes related to volcanic activity or tectonic activity? In the early days of this swarm, several quakes shook Santorini's northern caldera basin, the bowl-shaped sunken edifice at the island's heart. There were briefly concerns that this could indicate the start of a fresh injection of magma into the crust, which could generate additional damaging quakes or potentially trigger an eruption. Fortunately, the caldera-focused quakes were only temporary. Right now, the earthquake activity is focusing to the northeast. It's not clustering underneath any of the volcanoes that we know. Now, most quakes are coming from the Santorini Amorgos Fault Zone, a patch of fragmented seafloor between the two islands. These offshore quakes also show none of the hallmarks of ascending magma, nor are they accompanied by typical pre eruption signs, like the ground swelling up and deforming on a volcano's slopes. Right now, this is tectonic activity meaning it's something happening on faults. Swarms are often associated with the movement of fluids, like water or carbon dioxide, through faults. Fluids escaping from one fault and invading another can essentially force that fault open and cause it to rupture. They can continue to trigger earthquakes simply by moving. Forecasting future hazards is tricky. For now, the major threat is an especially strong earthquake and any resulting landslides or localized tsunamis it may cause. Santorini may not be about to blow up, but that doesn't mean that a major earthquake can be ruled out. Indeed, that is why schools are closed on Santorini and why people are being urged to avoid shorelines, not because of any volcanic activity, but because of the potential quake and tsunami hazards. This swarm could suddenly die out but there is still an anxiety that there could be an acceleration to a much larger earthquake. On July 9, 1956, the magnitude 7.8 Amorgos earthquake, the largest to strike Greece in the 20th century, and resulting tsunami caused infrastructural damage to multiple islands and killed dozens of people. Living with uncertainty as the situation evolves, is very difficult for people to do, especially when buildings are crumbling and the earth is shaking. Although a catastrophic quake is of concern, it's not the only thing causing trepidation. At the moment, I think the biggest worry is if the earthquakes start to focus more toward the volcanic chain, including the nearby submarine volcano Colombo. There is always a risk of some kind of coupling in other words, if you shake your magma chamber up, you can trigger a volcanic eruption. Presently, there is no indication that this is happening, but it's something scientists are watching out for closely. Rather than relying on a pre-existing network of volcanic and tectonic probes, a galvanized international team of scientists, led by Greek researchers, are deploying new instruments, including ocean-bottom seismometers and self-piloting robotic submersibles, all of which are scanning the depths for any suspicious geologic changes. The Greek authorities have communicated the danger to the public carefully, quickly, and transparently, and are managing the crisis very well. But it is disquieting that the near future is unclear. Authorities not sure if there's any obvious way that geologists could say, this is the most likely scenario for how it'll pan out.